Hello everyone. Most AI models, including the GPT model, are trained on the data that is already outdated. Their knowledge is fixed to a specific cut of date, so when you deploy them in the real environment, they might give you the answers that are technically correct, but no longer current. And especially with the cloud services like Azure or AWS, where things change very fast. Now, to keep your agent useful, you need a way to bring the latest information dynamically. Traditionally, people use techniques like RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation, where you upload your own PDF, documents, or the database content into the vector index and let the model search that. But there is another powerful way. Connect your agent to the live standardized data source, and that's exactly where the MCP server comes in. So MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. So it's a standard way for agents and the tools to talk to each other. Before MCP, every integration was a bit of a hack, where different formats, different APIs, no consistent structure was there. MCP changes that. With MCP, there is a standard protocol. If your agent knows MCP and the external service supports MCP, then connecting them is very straightforward. You don't need to custom build the connectors for each API. The protocol acts as a translator between the agent and the tool. And MCP servers are where those tools live. They expose the endpoints that agents can call in in a standard way. And this is why the MCP is so powerful. Now, there are two ways you can use the MCP server. First one is a self-hosted MCP server. This is when you build or deploy your own MCP server, maybe because you want to expose your internal tools or the database in a structured way. You can host them in the Azure App Services, Azure Function Apps, Container Apps, or any other compute service. This gives you the full control, but also means that you have to manage the hosting, scaling, security, and updates. Now, there is another way, is the remote MCP server. So these MCP servers are hosted by someone else, and usually those are the trusted partners or the providers. So they are the public endpoints where you can connect without hosting anything yourself. And this is exactly what we are going to use today. And the best example for this is the Microsoft Learn MCP server, which gives you the real-time access to the Microsoft official documentation. So Microsoft hosts their own learn and doc document content behind an MCP server, which is a public MCP server. So this is a live remote MCP server. So your agent can call this server to search the Microsoft documentation, fetch the latest article and use that information in their response itself. Now, here is the interesting part. When you go to the Azure AI Foundry and try to attach the external source, you will notice there is no direct option in the portal to add an MCP server under the knowledge tool or the action tool. But MCP is fully supported. You just need to configure it using the SDK or REST API. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to take the remote MCP server, for example, the Microsoft Learn, which we are going to use here, attach it to an existing AI agent using the Python or create a new agent with the MCP tool added and then run a query to see it fetches the live Microsoft documentation. However, in case of the production, you can make this even more secure by putting the Azure API management, APIM, in front of the MCP server. So this allows you to add authentication, apply policies, monitoring, and the different security controls. And you can even expose your own API as the MCP compatible endpoints, but this feature is still in preview. For this tutorial, we'll keep it simple and attach the Microsoft Learn MCP server directly into your agent. So now I'll show you step-by-step -step deployment of this in the lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now, and let's go to Azure AI Foundry. And I have already deployed Azure AI Foundry Hub as well as the project. So if I'll go here, I have deployed it into West US region. And the reason for that is, if I'll go to the Microsoft documentation, the MCP is supported for Azure AI Foundry agent service, but it's only supported in these five regions, which is West US, US2, UAE North, South India, and Switzerland North. So, and if you'll scroll down, you can see uh, the usage support is only for the Python as well as the REST API. And for Azure AI Foundry, there is no direct support for now. 
So let's go back, go to the Azure AI Foundry portal. And if I'll scroll down to the models and endpoints, I have already deployed the GPT-40 model. So right now there is no agent created, but if once I'll click on the agent, it will create a new agent for us. So automatically a new agent is created when you click on it. It's just a blank chat agent, no instructions, no tools and everything. So if I'll go back, try in the playground. Let's start with the greeting and it's working. So let's ask. And now it has provided some outdated information as this is not correct because East US is not supported. However, it has said that this knowledge cutoff is 2023. So it's not providing the correct information. So this is also called as hallucination. So it's, it's not providing the accurate result. So now we know by default, uh, GPT-4 cannot provide this answer. So what we need is we need a connection with the Microsoft documentation from where we can fetch this latest information. As you can see, this is recently updated and that's why this information is not available with GPT-4 model. Now I'll open the VS code and I have already deployed some files. So before I show them, there are some packages which needs to be installed like flask package, python um, .env request and to connect to the Azure AI agent. So you have to first install the virtual environment because it's python and once that is done, you have to install the packages. So I have already done that. So this is a virtual environment and you have to do is pip install hyphen r requirements.exe so it will install all the required packages. So let's get the agent detail first or which is the agent ID. Let's go back to our portal and this is only agent which we have created manually and let's go to the code copy this here and save. So now we have Azure AI endpoint which is a project endpoint which you can either find from the view code or from the overview of the project. And then the MCP server URL, which is the API, which is a remote MCP server, and the label is the MS Learn. So now I've created another file, which is attach learn MCP tool. If you'll click here, what it's doing is, it's loading the environment variables from .env, then getting the headers, getting the agent, which we have already created by using the agent ID, then updating the agent tool, and providing all the details in the tool, like this is the MCP server uh, URL as well as the label. Then what it does is it creates the thread and the run so that it can test. And once it's done, it has to approve the pending tool. So what happens is this information you will not find easily. So when you add a tool, then you can you cannot just directly run it. You have to approve that tool and then you have to approve it. Once it's approved, then it will provide the information. So this tool, uh, so this file, it's attaching the tool and testing it, approving it and testing it, whether it's running fine. Then there is app.py and index.html where we are running this application, where we can fetch the information. So uh, let's run this, open the terminal. So what you have to do is pip install everything. This is virtual environment. I have already done it. So let's run this directly. Attach learn MCP tool. So it's adding the MCP tool. This is MS learn and this is the API. So the tool is added to the agent. Now it's testing the functionality. It's creating the test thread. Now test run and soon it will approve the pending tool calls. And once this is done, it will just confirm us and we can see if we'll go back here and refresh this page, the tool should have been added here. Go to the agents and in the tool you can see MCP and if you'll scroll down, there is a knowledge tool, there is MCP. However, you cannot edit or anything from here because it's not available in the portal yet, but there is an MCP tool which is added and perfect and it has also shown that this is correct. Now I'll run the python app.py 
for the application local host 5000 and perfect it's working so let's quickly ask the same question and it should fetch the information from the Microsoft Live documentation. And perfect. So this is the latest information which it's getting from this documentation. So if I'll click here, it should go to this page and it's perfect. So now what we have seen is we have created an AI agent um, manually and then attach the tool and now it's working and as you can see this is the tool where mcp is attached so now if i'll go to the agents there is only one agent which we created and attached the tool let's name it as existing agent so that we can differentiate now because i want to show you another way where we don't even have to create an agent by ourselves manually um, our code will create the agent, attach the tool, and then we can just directly chat and get the latest information from the Microsoft documentation. So there is only one agent. Let's go to VS Code. I'll first quickly show you the agent.py. So what it's doing is loading the environment variables, getting the headers, creating a new agent. So here it's creating the new agent and it's attaching the tool here with all the details. So what will be the instructions, MCP server URL and the label, then creating a thread, sending message, and because approval is important, so it will approve it once uh, it checks everything, and then you can chat based on it. So let's quickly run this. Python agent.py, and I'll upload all these files into the GitHub, and you can find the link of the GitHub in the description of this video itself. Okay, so it has created a new agent. So let's quickly check if a new agent is created. And perfect, you can see a new agent and it has the instructions there as well as the MCP knowledge tool, which is attached. So let's quickly put it on test and I'll open localhost 5000 because it's using the same uh, index.html 5000 start with the greeting perfect let's ask the question again and perfect we got the right answer and the documentation link which is of course this is the page so now we have tested two ways. In the first one, we created AI agent using the Azure AI agent portal service. Once that is done, we have attached the MCP tool and then checked that it provided the right information from the live documentation. Another one is we didn't even create anything or just went to the, uh, the portal. We created everything through the, uh, the code itself and then the tool was added and then it provided information from the documentation. So now, you can implement the same thing for the different remote MCP servers which are already available uh, for different vendors or the different providers. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.